Hello and welcome to our first lab. Let's begin by creating a file folder setup that matches the instructions that we've been given. First of all, you need to create somewhere on your computer a new folder. And we're going to name this folder WDD230. Now it is case sensitive. You need to use lowercase WDD because it's going to wind up being the name of your repository on your GitHub account. Let's open Visual Studio Code and under the File Open menu I'm going to go to my desktop which is where I put this folder and I'm going to open this directory or folder. You can see the down arrow it is currently empty. Now we've been asked to create three subfolders or subdirectories. There's a couple of ways you can do it. You can return to the finder or your desktop and you can right click and choose new folder. So we can create one called styles. We can also come over here in VS Code and create a new folder. The second one is supposed to be scripts. And the third one is images. Now one of the things that students struggle with is the term root. These are supposed to be created in the root of your local repository. Well, sometimes I'll get students that will create a new folder called week one, and they'll put all of this stuff inside of week one. Well, that's not the root. The root is what's in the bottom most level of the WDD230 folder. So that's not going to work. So these need to be in the root and there should not be a week one. The next thing we've been asked to do is to create some files. We can do that over here once again in VS Code. So the first new file we need to make is called index.html. It is absolutely essential that it's .html, not .text or some other extension. Inside the styles folder, we've been asked to make some files. This one's called base.css. Notice it's indented under styles. If we come back here to our finder and we open styles, we can see that it's now being created inside that as a file within a subfolder. We also need one called larger.css. In our scripts folder, we've been asked to create one called get dates. Notice there's a capital D and the extension is JS for JavaScript. So there we have the correct folder structure for our WDD 230 class. And we're going to be using this same directory for everything we build over the next seven weeks.